Alright, this is uh, Big G from Big G's Collectibles, and I just wanted to do a quick video of my LJN poster collection that I have. This is actually just a picture of a bedroom that's done up in, uh, from the Hasbro era and all the bed sheets and things like that. But we'll start here with Series 1. As you see, they're not in the greatest condition, but I like having them in any condition. Here's Andre the Giant, Big John Stud, Hillbilly Jim. Here's Hulk Hogan's without the Hulkster on his name, on his headband. And here he is with the Hulkster on the headband. Hopefully you can see that. And you got the Iron Sheik. You got my Nikolai Volkov. That's, they're all a little bent at the top. Here's Jimmy Superfly Snooka. Junkier Dog. Here's Roddy Piper with the Hot Rod on his shirt, which is for the more common figure. Here he is with the Panther on his shirt, which is for his more maroon or brown boots, as they say, figure. So that's Series 1. Series 2, I got a, just another Andre the Giant. I'm 95% sure it came with the same poster. Uh, here's Brutus Beefcake. George the Animal Steel. Greg the Hammer Valentine. King Kong Bundy. Paul Orndorff. That's end of Series 2. Here's Series 3, we got Bobby the Brain Heenan, Captain Lou, Classy Freddy Blassie, Corporal Kirshner, all his amazing flag matches with Volkov, Living Legend Bruno San Martino, Magnificent Morocco, The Governor, Jimmy Hart, Mr. Fuji, Mean Gene, Steamboat, SD Jobber Jones, Terry Funk, Chico Santana, and Macho Man Randy Savage. I actually really like the his pose in this poster, poster and the colors and everything. It's really nice. It's the end of Series 3. Here's uh, Series 4. I got the Brett singles in really good condition. Shout out to Atlantic Games, they gave me a great deal on the Brett and the Anvil singles posters. Jumping Jim Brunzel, B. Brian Blair, also pretty hard to find those two posters. Got Adrian Adonis, Billy Jack Haynes, Cowboy Bob Orton, Miss Elizabeth. As you notice, there are, some of them are in English or French and just the English versions. I don't, I'm not crazy about which one I just like either of them having whatever I can get my hands on that was Harley Race Hercules Hernandez Jake the Snake Luscious Johnny Valiant Ken Patera Kamala Coco Beware Hall of Famer Outback Jack Ted RCD Vince McMahon, that ends my Series 4. You know, some people debate on who's in which series, but that's how I have them right now. Series 5, I have the Ref's Checklist, which is also kind of rare to find. This is the English version. I spent quite a bit to get this when I first started collecting the posters. There's what the other Ref became the famous wrestling holds. Also, it looks like it's the English version. I got Slick, one of the greatest managers of the 80s and early 90s. Here's the black card Hulk Hogan, the when they switched to the live action pictures in Series 5. Rick Martel. Here's my Tito Santana that I need to replace. It was cut to fit into an 8x10, which I want to have the full one. One Man Gang. Ted DiBiase, one of the greats. Bam Bam Bigelow. Honky Tonk Man. My uh, Axe poster that I got uh, signed by him when him and Demolition were in the area. Sorry, him and Smash of Demolition. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, that rounds out my Series 5. Let's go to Series 6. Got the Andre the Giant poster. Blackstrap. Big Boss Man. Haku. Powers of Pain. It was just for Warlords, but... You can see they were probably trying to release him uh, Barbarian, so they put Powers of Pain. Ravenstein Rick Rude. 
I got the Hulk Hogan, Hogan 89 re-release. That's the only 89 re-release I have. And Warrior is the only one that has eluded me so far. Hasn't been on eBay that often. I missed it one time for about 25 to 30 bucks. Haven't seen it since, basically. Alright, let's go into some other things here. This is just a poster that folds out for the 1987 Hostess stickers that are just for in the word that were just released in Canada and chip bags. This is the poster for the WrestleMania 4 one. Here is the poster for. I'm not going to take it out too much work. <laughs> Here's a poster for the Heart Foundation. I just had them folded over. It's the best way I could store them. I don't mind the one fold. They already were in an amazing condition. Here's the tag poster for Iron Sheik and Volkov. Here's the tag poster for Valentine and Beefcake, the Dream Team. Here's the poster for the Bulldogs. Here's the poster for the Killer Bees. A nice poster there with them. And here's a Strike Force poster. I drove quite a bit to and paid quite a lot and a lot to get this. And I actually got this signed by Tito. I don't know, maybe it was a wrong idea to get something pretty rare signed, but I hopefully will get Martell to get it signed one day and have the two of them. And this kind of ends this binder. This just has. Um, these were a little, uh, cards for Quaker Dips. That's the poster to, to put them on, and that is it for that binder. Thanks for watching.